my name is Beth and I chose St Margaret of Scotland as my confirmation saint. At the time of choosing my saint, I was in year nine and I only briefly researched St Margaret. I was pretty much sold at the first line of her story. She was an English princess. I thought that fact, combined with the Scottish heritage within my family, was enough reason to choose her. But as time has passed, I have spent more time understanding the things that she did through her life. She was a princess, but her family were the last remaining royals in England when the Danish army invaded. The Scottish king, Malcolm III, offered to protect Margaret's family. And soon he grew to love Margaret and wanted to marry her. Margaret had other ideas as she wanted to live a prayerful life, devoted to God and to join a convent. After he asked quite a few times, she agreed to marry Malcolm and she became Queen of Scotland. As a couple, they were happy and together they developed Scotland as a nation. It's understood that Margaret was a very good influence on her husband and brought out his better side. While she was queen, her faith remained at the centre of her life and she wanted to unite the people of Scotland and England through faith and she shared it with everyone around her, especially her children. Her youngest son, David, is also a saint. Margaret cared a lot. She especially cared for the poor and for the orphans. She shared her wealth as queen with those in most need around her. She spent a lot of her time ensuring that the people of Scotland were safe. I think that if St Margaret was around during this time of lockdown and separation, she would work to connect people and to care for those who are most suffering. I think that she would encourage us to always think of those that need help, whether it is someone who is alone in isolation or someone that is in an unsafe environment at home. I think that she would do whatever she could to help and I think that she would encourage us to do the same. Mm -hmm.